Welcome to episode three of What Sarah Said. Uh, today's question comes from JR, and JR is an author, and I get a lot of questions from authors, so this is, this is a good one. He writes, I'm in the process of publishing my first novel. Anyway, my larger vision for myself is playing a role in improving teen literacy in my region and beyond. With my soon to be published novel, I believe I will be able to have more credibility with respect to this endeavor. I know you're not in the Pennsylvania area, but would love any suggestions you may have on where I can look to begin this process. As exciting as the publishing process can be, I'm even more excited about the potential of using it as a vehicle for helping others. My book has a male protagonist, which I believe given the trend of YA novels leaning more and more toward the female reader, could be both an advantage and a disadvantage. When it comes to teen literacy, I believe this is an advantage because of what the statistics say about boys versus girls and reading and literacy. Do I begin with a library system or would you recommend looking elsewhere? And on a more self-serving note, in your opinion, being an expert, what is the most effective way to reach 12 to 22 year old males? Online, somewhere else? I would love to connect with this elusive age group but struggle to find a good place to start. They simply don't seem to congregate like females of the same age online. All right, so congratulations on being an author. Um, I don't know if you already have a publishing venue, if you've got a publisher lined up. If not, consider self-publishing. More and more people are doing that and finding it as a very valid way to get your information and your, your stuff out there. The main thing you want is people to read your stuff, right? That's the main thing you want. You're not doing this because you expect to make a million dollars off of your first book. Um, and if you do, you're delusional. I, I love you, JR, but I don't think that you're gonna make your, your, your first million here. Um, having not read the book, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be the next JK Rowling. I could be totally wrong. Um, but I, I do think that the key to your question is that your focus isn't on your book. Your focus is on your desire to improve teen literacy. And, and the book is second to that. So whether you're in Pennsylvania or any other part of the world, really, I think libraries are a great place to start to ask them if they would, would welcome an event where you're promoting literacy, you're inviting teen boys. Have some kind of a pre-canned program ready to go where you say, oh yeah, I'll bring them in and then I'll have them write and then I'll have them talk about the book or we'll read a chapter at a time or however you want to set it up. Um, I would also recommend contacting literacy programs in your area. Uh, many of these have become underfunded due to, to state and national budget issues, but I do think that there are still enough of those around where it's worth looking to see. You know, is there a, a literacy agency that, that would appeal to or, or attract this particular age group? Um, uh, and then also the schools, of course, C talk to the schools. Uh, again, come to them with your, your pre-planned canned event of what you would like to bring to the table, what you can do for them. That's what they want to hear. And, and show them how you can help boys in their school become excited about reading or writing again. Um, and then finally, you know, you, you talk about w what the effective way is to reach 12 to 22 year old males. I gotta be honest, I'm not an expert on that. Um, when I was 12 to 22, as a female, I didn't know where to find these these boys, so uh, definitely not an expert now as a 30-something. So look everywhere you can, online, offline, um, places in the community where they tend to congregate. Um, I know that you know in the past the libraries left marketing materials for middle schoolers of both genders. I mean, all over the place, you know, in 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 pizza shops, at skateboard parks, uh, at coffee shops, wherever. Wherever you see this people of this age group, and this is a very wide group, 12 to 22 is huge. I mean, that's very different from one end of the spectrum to the other. So think about, you know, are you really trying to target one particular part of that segment? Are you really trying to get, you know, 12 to 15? Because that, that, to me, that's a little bit too broad um, to, to give you one answer. Um, but look in as many places, be in as many places as you can, and you will have the most most success. And as, as a library person who's tried to market to this age group for, for years, um, I'll say there's no magic bullet that I've found so far. But again, you know, really diversifying that reach and hitting as many points as possible is probably your best approach. And I just want to say good for you, JR, for being interested in improving literacy, particularly among you know, teenage boys, and I, I applaud you for that, and I wish you luck with your writing. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you at the next episode.